love it when I get so high And drop that ass so low Make you sit right here Now you can't go back home You love it when I get so high And drop that ass so low Make you sit right here Now you can't go back home What's up my YouTube family? It's your girl Listen from Instagram and today I am back with a makeup video. So for all my ladies who want to look flawless, who want to go on date night with their mans, who want to go on brunch with their friends and hang out with their family, etc. and still look good, still give a natural, neutral vibe, nothing doing too much, nothing extra, just simple because less is more. So if you want to learn what I did on today's video, make sure you keep watching the video. All my products that I use to create this gorgeous flawless makeup look will be down in the description down below. Before we get started on this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Because if you haven't subscribed, then my sister, what are you doing? Make sure you go subscribe before this video ends. My beautiful ladies, if you're ready to learn how to give the girls looks, give the girls the vibes, let's go. Today, guys, we're going to start off with actually tying my hair up. Because, y'all, I don't know how long this video might turn out, but it's going to be a real interesting video. So I got a chit chat with y'all about a few things. I'm going to get into my details about my life story lately. But first, I'm going to wipe my face off with these Noxzema blemish pads. These are pretty much the pads that I use that you can get from Walmart for almost about like 5 to $6. I mean, I normally just wipe my face with these to basically get the extra dirt off my face and to just wipe all the oils off my face. So if you have been out all day and you're not at home to be able to come home and wash your face and things like that, sis, even if you're not even doing your makeup, you still can use this, honey. So get into it. Once I pretty much wipe my face down with the blemish pads, I am going to do my eyebrows. I kind of do two different concealers, but for this video, I am going to do the LA Girl Pro Conceal which is a HD high definition concealer I believe y'all can definitely get these from Walgreens also I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wisp pencil which is in color ebony and this is maybe $20 this one is an elf flat eyeliner brush I also use this it's already been used so it's a little dirty this one is also my Morphe brush in the size M173 I also use my super strong hold eyelash adhesive clear yes boo it says eyelash adhesive clear but do not tell me that because i know it's not for eyebrows okay but y'all know how we gotta make stuff work so much first things first since my eyebrows is not done of course i want my eyebrows to be laid down honey and you're just pretty much gonna place a little bit on each eyebrow so that way it can stay up i'm brushing my eyebrows up okay Keep in mind, y'all, I am not an experienced makeup stylist. I've been doing my own makeup for almost a year now, and I've taught myself. I've had a few tips, but other than that, y'all, I'm not experienced. I didn't take no makeup class. I didn't do nothing since. And at this point, I'm just probably going to go ahead and take my Beverly Hills pencil, and that way we're just going to stroke the pencil upwards because you want it to look natural sometimes i do like to get a line going on the bottom lens i like to just go like this with a line i'm not a pro yeah so i'm not gonna do this right here so another tip when you do your eyebrows you want to make sure when it's closest to the inside you want to make sure you stroke in lightly and you kind of pick up like the heaviness of your hand once you get towards the middle because you want it to look like it's going from light and it's going into a dark motion that way your eyebrows look a lot more natural we're about to put this la pro conceal on the eyebrows i like to use a straight line pencil and then kind of just go on my eyebrow and then stroke it down like pull the concealer down Yo, i'm gonna try to line it up with the bottom of my eyebrow and then pull it down if you know what i mean okay i am going to do the other eyebrow off camera because sometimes this do take time and i don't want the video to be too long and i am going to go in with my morphe brush m173 and i'm pretty much just going to blend this concealer part out and i'm going to do the same thing for the other eyebrow. so now that my eyebrows are finally done yeah i feel like the right eye tried to show out just a little bit because baby you know you don't be trying to look like this no other time when i be trying to go out <laughs> got it any other time y'all this eyebrow be cutting up it don't never want to act right but we got the eyebrows on they both looking good but now that we're about to go ahead and apply everything on the skin which is the fun part now that we got the eyebrows out the way i am going to apply my baby skin instant pore eraser i believe you can also get this at walgreens or target this is a maybelline brand 
I don't remember how much this was. Now, normally I don't always put this baby skin pore eraser on, but since I got this little titty on my face today because I just popped that in, we're gonna go ahead and apply that, which gives it pretty much a smooth effect towards the skin. It definitely feels like a baby, but when you kind of put it on, so. But to give the skin a smooth effect before you put the foundation on, check this out. If you got like a bumpy skin, I mean, if you put it on, it's gonna be like a little smooth, little, you know, it's gonna look pretty smooth, like a like a normal street road. But I mean, if you don't put that on and your face is a little bumpy, then it might be looking like, you know, might be looking like you on a street that got a whole bunch of rocks on it, so. <laughs> and once I do that, I am going to put my Milk Hydro Grip Primer on. And I also got this from Sephora. It's worth it. This is pretty much your primer that you're gonna put on before you add your makeup. If I hadn't put on the baby skin pore eraser, this would pretty much be the next step that I put on. And I'll just put this on my bare skin all over, especially in my T-zone area. This primer is really helpful because it does, you know, a lot for the makeup. And, and also it doesn't allow the makeup to, you know, make connections with the real skin. I'm pretty much just gonna let the remaining of my face dry. And this is in Fawn. I forgot to tell y'all, this is in F-A-W-N. I'm going to just pretty much apply this concealer on top of my eyelids. And then I'm gonna blend it out with my Morphe brush. I'm gonna just basically tap it in. And then I'm gonna go in with my Airspun Loose Face Powder. That Y'all, this powder smells so good. You, but you can definitely get this from Walmart for a few dollars. This smells like baby powder. You know? Okay, so basically I got my LA Pro Concealer on my eyelids. We're not gonna blend it out with this. We're gonna take this beauty sponge. I don't remember where I got this from, but we're just gonna take this and dab it in. And then ladies, be careful with the eyelashes because I have on strips. I just go ahead and take these off when I'm done. So if I got them lash extensions on, Oh baby, we being careful about everything. Lash extensions is too dang on high. Drop a comment down below if y'all agree if lash extensions are getting too high because I got to the point where I was about to pay 160. 160 for some lashes, baby bye. Now I know you lying because one thing for sure, I'm not about to pay no 200 dollars for some lashes that's about to fall out. Baby, the one that's charging 160. Baby, you good and all, but it's just like, <laughs> I ain't paying it. So basically, I'm going to go in with this Airspun powder, and I'm going to just kind of dab this onto my concealer. We're basically just going to set the eyelids with this powder that I just showed you guys. So I got that on. We're looking on. Now, I'm about to apply my eyeshadow. This is my very first eyeshadow palette. This Morphe eyeshadow palette is actually a very good palette. So yeah, y'all, we're gonna go into Tan Up and we're gonna go into Nika's. This color, Tan Up, is a very good color, but it's kind of dark. So I always kind of blend it out just to get it like a little lighter brown effect. This is a Morphe 505 eyeshadow brush. So I always start right there and I kind of just do like a small circular motion just to get that little spot darkened up. And then I'm going to just pretty much reach across my eyeball with the brush. I'm going to kind of like brush across my eyeball, basically, with the brush. You're not going to poke your eye, but you're going to brush across it, honey, okay? Which is basically like your crease area. So now that we have that, you should be able to see the difference, honey. I'm going to go in and start applying my foundation. Now, I am three different colors, unfortunately. So you guys may have different skin tones. So I would go to like a Mac store and be able to get yourself um, matched to a foundation color. But unfortunately, due to COVID, they are not really putting the foundation on your face to get matched. A pro tip, I, the way I pretty much got my foundation matched was I pretty much scheduled a makeup appointment for my makeup to get done approximately like six months ago. And luckily my makeup artist, she was really nice and she was able to tell me what she used on my face as far as the products because I told her, like I was into doing my makeup and I was wondering like what colors are you using on my face because I'm a person where I get dark in the summertime and then I'm very light in the wintertime. So my skin kind of varies, but when I had my makeup appointment, it was nearly towards the summertime. So all three of these foundations are from MAC. This first foundation is a MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15, which is in the color NC45. The second color that I use, which is also a MAC Studio Fix Fluid SP15, 
which is in the shade NW46. And I also have my third foundation color that I use, which is pretty much MAC Studio Fix Fluid SP15, also in the shade NC15. I'm about to go ahead and mix these foundations up. And also we're gonna be using Morphe M6, which is a foundation brush. You also wanna make sure you get a spray bottle. I just used my Her Spray bottle. You wanna make sure that you do damp your foundation brush. One or two sprays on a foundation brush and then you just wanna pat your makeup in. So I have all my foundation pretty much mixed up on my arm and I'm pretty much just gonna use one of my fingers and I'm just gonna pretty much like place different dots around my face. And then this helps honestly be able to allow the foundation to be applied smoothly and evenly on the skin. Okay, so if you ain't looking like poker face, then you ain't doing it right, period. So I already got my foundation brush already a little bit damp, and I'm pretty much when I just Blend this out, y'all. I'm just pretty much just gonna tap this all around. Sometimes I might swipe across and smear it, but mostly you're just gonna do like a tapping motion when you're blending in foundation. Once I feel like I have all my foundation put smoothly across my face, evenly blended out, look giving the girls a little, you know, brightness and a little glossiness to it, I am going to go ahead and start with my concealer. And today, for my concealer, I am using, this is Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, which is super coverage. It is in the colors Butterscotch and Warm Sand. This is what both of them in the front looks like. And these are the bottoms. So I normally go in with butterscotch first because butterscotch is a little bit darker and then I am gonna go in with warm sand. While I'm applying my concealer, I am gonna make sure that my beauty blender is pretty damp, which I already just did. That way your concealer can also blend in a lot more smoother versus when it's dry. So I'm pretty much just gonna do the other side and I'm gonna go on the side of the bridge of my nose, kind of work your way up towards the middle. That way when you contour it, it can honestly help out a lot easier. That way you'll kind of have like a trace of, you know, where to go ahead and control your nose at. And then I'm also gonna leave it a little gap and then I'm gonna also, you know, finish off on the sides. And this will help contouring as well. And then I also will set this with powder. So if you guys can see what I'm talking about, I pretty much drew a straight line down. And if you can kind of see like the gaps that I have in between the concealer, that's the foundation. I'm gonna pretty much use powder to conceal, I mean to contour my nose. So once it's time to contour my nose, I will use like a brown powder and I will just go down the sides where you kind of see the foundation at. And I will just pretty much contour the nose to help everything look skinny, I would say. But sometimes I kind of do go up just so it can connect since I do put concealer up on my forehead to give it a little bright effect. And I kind of just go ahead and connect it because also when I contour my nose, I will be start my eyes my eyebrows and I kind of just go down when it comes to contouring my nose. I think I'm just going to put a little bit on my chin. Sometimes I really don't care to put it on my chin, but I am going to just put like a little dab effect, but I won't put any brighter concealer on my chin because you don't want the chin to pop. You know what I'm saying? Like you want everything to pop as far as underneath the eyes. You want the contour to pop. You want the nose to pop. But my chin, I don't preferably care for my chin to pop in my pictures because my face already a little long so we don't need to show it off now so now that is something that i'm working on myself but to give a friendly advice to anybody who don't know that now that this is pretty dry i am going to just pretty much start inside the bridge of my nose and i'm going to just work my way outwards and you're, you'll kind of see since this is damp how natural this is going to look Y'all, while I'm doing this, tell me why somebody hacked my Instagram. Tell me why my Instagram got hacked. My original account, Lissim underscore. If you see any activity on Lissim underscore, please go report that Instagram page and also let Instagram know that it is not me. Now, my new Instagram is underscore Lissim. 
that is my new instagram account so make sure you guys is following my new instagram page your girl trying to get her followers back up i did get hacked out of six thousand followers on my old page which is lusam underscore so i know it sounded a little confusing but lusam underscore is my old page my new page is underscore first lusam so make sure you guys follow the right account it is underscore first and then l-i-l-s-a-m that is my new instagram account due to my old instagram account getting hacked so y'all you just don't know whoever did this you need your feet i was so mad y'all like i just really wanted to just go into fighting mode over the instagram account because i was literally starting to promote my youtube channel off that page although my followers was a little inactive i mean it's whatever but i feel like things do happen for a reason y'all and honestly just starting off my page with a new clean slate i was already saying that i wanted to unfollow a lot of people off my old page I guess i'm not complaining as much but your girl followers like why me why me boy if you don't like whoever you is that hack my page Okay, so now that we pretty much have the concealer done and it's blended, you guys can kind of see how it looks. It does very much, you know, look a little natural. It's giving a little pop to the eye. We're not done as far as adding a little bit more pop as far as the color to underneath the eye. But it's, you know, you see how it blended so smoothly into my foundation. Like you can't see any line difference between my foundation and between my concealer. You can't see any at all because beauty blender is damn honey. That damp beauty blender is gonna be the key to your makeup looking very much right, okay? So we are gonna damp this again, and then we are gonna get to the other eye, okay? I pretty much decided to go ahead and blend everything out, get it out the way, sis, because secret don't got much time. So put a little bit underneath the eyes. I don't normally like to do too much when it comes to brightening my eyes, because as you can already see, it's already a little bright. So we're just gonna go down the bridge with the nose, with the little sand. And these are pretty much the only two places that I like to go ahead and make sure, you know, I brighten up. Okay, girls, so now that we have everything on and blended out, we're just gonna go ahead and set our concealer with 30 medium deep, which is Maybelline Fit Me, Fit Me Loose Powder. This is in the shade 30 just about this much on your sponge and then i like to just blow my asses off i make sure you blow the asses powder off and you're just gonna trace up underneath the eye so that way like the powder is kind of pushing up towards the center of my nose and that way when i contour it's gonna make my nose look snatched in the middle Tour the sides of the face first, okay? Okay, honey. So basically, while my powder is doing what it do, I don't normally care for bacon. I'm not preferably a fan, but I mean, I just let it sit there until I do what I do next, okay? So this is basically, y'all, it's a finishing powder in the color milk chocolate. I forgot where you can get this from. I believe you can get this from Walmart. Yeah. Black Radiance True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder, which is in the color Milk Chocolate. And this is going to be the two powders that I combine to contour the sides of my face and contour around my forehead. And then this is also Black Radiance Pressed Powder, which is in the color Ebony. And then this is what it looks like. So I pretty much just dab these two onto the same brush, which definitely helps contour because as you can see, it gives it like almost a effect that way you can whoop, whoop, whoop. so I'm gonna tap it into this so it's gonna look like that I'm gonna set that down and then I'm gonna tap it into the other one so I like to softly just blow it off and the 
camera it might look a little dark but in person it's not that dark if you feel like it's too harsh you can always go in with a beauty blender that you've used at least for like your foundation and your concealer things like that you can always go in press it down just to soften it up just so it's not looking as harsh and then this is also damp as well from earlier so you can also go in and just damp it and it don't look so harsh another tip when you're doing it you can also go like just kind of do your lips like and then go to the side so and it'll kind of help bring your face together So this side is contoured. Pretty much contouring your face is gonna bring that color back into your face. It's gonna kind of just bring everything back to a vibe, you know, because everything is already bright and you know, I as we looking right now, everything is looking pretty bright. So we kind of just wanna bring some color back into the face. So we're not looking so white and ash, you know, especially us chocolate females. Well, I'm not necessarily chocolate, but. You know, us females, we don't want to look as ashy on camera and kind of, you know, super, super, super light skinned in our colors. So we kind of just want to bring some color back into it. You want to make sure you're going into the actual hairline. You don't really want to stop where you see your hair because it's going to pretty much create a line to separate from your hair and the contour. So you want to kind of just honestly put that contour a little bit in your hair or at least in your baby hairs or mostly near or around that area. That's preferably what I like to do. And then ladies, we're gonna go ahead and get this extra powder off. So I'm gonna use my, I don't know, if I remember guys, I'm gonna take down below. But I pretty much just gonna use this brush. It is, oh it's a contour brush and the size 206. And then we're also gonna use our Studio MAC Fix, which you can also get this from MAC. And this is in shade NW45. We are gonna use our Studio MAC Fix and we're just pretty much just gonna bring some color back underneath the eyes. So first we're just gonna, Sweep this on the way. Swiper, no swiper. We're just gonna get that acid powder off because it has set long enough, honey. We don't need the eyes to look no more brighter than what they're doing right now. And yeah, so. I don't know if you guys can be able to tell the difference, but this is the Studio Mac Fix, Mac Fix that I did apply on this side, which gives it like a more toned down look. It gives it like a oh, like a little resting look to my face. This side giving me bright, early, wake up, party, ah, type of vibes. This and then I also just go in on my chin because once again, when I take pictures, I don't want my chin to be popping. So I kind of just go in with the Studio Fix and then I kind of go on my forehead a little bit to tone the forehead down a little bit because I don't want my forehead popping either. But I still want everything to be like a little bright, but I don't want it to be popping. I'm just going to take my Morphe M503 brush and I'm pretty much just going to go in the same powder that I use for the side contour. And then I'm just going to use a little bit and then I'm just going to put that back in. I'm just going to go down like the sides of my nose. This when you're contouring the nose, you do want to make sure you're starting at your eyebrows just to make it look as natural as possible. And if you can, make sure you're kind of trying to blend it in with your eyeshadow as well. So that way you're not separating the contour from your nose and from your eyeshadow. You want to just kind of make sure you just blend it just like the beginning half of your eyeshadow. And you just want to make sure you blend that in with the contour. And then you want to just kind of swipe down the sides and if you follow the steps that I kind of did, then you'll kind of see the space that it gave you in the beginning of this video. You'll kind of see the spaces where you're supposed to apply this powder at to be able to contour your nose a little bit. And honestly, it's up to you how thin you want your nose. But me personally, I just kind of go for whatever the vibe is giving. You know, if it gives thick nose, it gives thick nose. If it gives skinny, it's going to give skinny. And if it gives medium, then I guess my nose is going to be medium for the day. But now we're almost on our last few steps guys this is a juvia's place bronze bronzy which is in the color dark and this is something new that i got honestly a few weeks ago and y'all this is pretty freaking bomb like to bronze your face sis which i just put it on the sides where i contour it they did something with this so i think these are called real technique brushes so I'm, this is um 
I think like this is a custom contour brush and this one is like it basically like directs where the fan can go so it has like a little button on the side you kind of push it in and drop that solo make you sit right here no you can go back home I just pretty much go in with both colors and just got the essence off and I just I'm chained up and I'm tanked up and I'm hella faded You bend it down and you poke it up and you elevate it, you elevate it I came over, I ain't sober, I'm still drunk, that's hangover Might run it back when this page over, you the best thing I done slave though Like I said, if it does look a little too harsh Remember sis, what did I say? Go back in with your beauty brush and tap it back on in if it's looking a little too harsh because one thing for show we ain't trying to look harsh we're trying to look soft and natural that's what's given we are going to do the eyeliner as well we almost done guys so next we're pretty much just going to go ahead and do our highlights this is a milani highlighter which is it a baked highlighter in the color 130 rosa italiana and then we also got a, a little a elf fan brush and then you can also get this in target walmart it's almost in here. No, seriously, no. let me stop playing. I don't think today we're gonna overdo. We're gonna do less because less is less is more, honey. So we're just gonna do a little bit. We're not gonna do too much. Sometimes I like to overdo it, sometimes I don't. But as long as you see it, sis, you get the vibes. So, y'all, my camera ended up dying. So you go ahead to take a major pause on the video. But yes, I ended up doing my wing eyeliner, y'all. Sorry. It's not your girl fault. If you guys want a tutorial on that, I will make a separate video if you guys really want it. If not, then fine. Beat it right in. I'm just gonna do the lip and we're just pretty much gonna do the eyeliner, which is underneath the eye. And we're gonna put a little bit of mascara on and we're gonna be done and I'm gonna be out y'all her. Go ahead and do the under eyeliner. And this is pretty much bought from Ulta, which is a NYX professional makeup. It is a retractable eyeliner in the shade black. And drop that solo. Make you sit right here. No, you can go back home. That part is on. I'm gonna go ahead and add the mascara to give the girls a more dramatic look as far as underneath the eye. Now, Baby, if your mama wasn't the type, if your mama was the type to let you not wear makeup, then you know how much you loved mascara back in high school. Because if it wasn't nothing else you could wear, it was only gonna be mascara. Over you the best thing. I done slaved over, gone arch you back and been way over. It's overdue for that understressing. Over him now you underdressing. Call me up and I come finessing. Like, ooh, we shot it, what it do, what it don't. Baby, you a queen, you can move how you want. You was rocking with me. So you can tell this eye gives a little bit more of a dramatic look, and the other eye is doing nothing. I think I look good. I think my makeup looks good. Comment down below, rate your girl makeup one through ten. How did your girl do? Don't hate on the sister now and make sure you comment. Don't just keep watching and don't comment. What's wrong with you, girl? Stick together now. So, now that I pretty much got the mascara on, the makeup is already done. Sis, the last but not least, the lips. The most important thing that every man gonna look at is the lips, honey. In them teeth, but definitely the lips, okay? I didn't use the eye pencil, which is in dark brown. I believe you can also get this from Ota as well. This is like a few dollars. It's usually like in the front of Ota. This eye pencil look like it already could be a lipstick. And I may need to go get a lipstick that, that's this color because this color looks good. Yes, I keep saying eye pencil, y'all, but it's in fact a lip pencil for me, okay? You just gotta make stuff work when you do makeup. Everything not gonna be for it, what it's braid it for but when you know how to make stuff work according to your faces it's gonna work out perfectly i'm gonna go ahead and apply my juvia's place lipstick on so this is how it looks this is so cute i do have some makeup on it so it looks a little crazy but i love how the radiance of this color is going from like light pink to pink it looks so cute and this is in the shade lady so if you didn't know you know and we're gonna go ahead and apply And now we got our lip, but yet we're not done. 
Now, if you like to go for mostly a matte look, you can definitely just do this and be done with it because honestly, sometimes I may just leave it like this and leave out if I'm going for a matte look. But in that case, sis, if you want a little extra pop to the makeup, I got just a specialty for you. So the very last thing that we're gonna do to go ahead and apply it to our lips to make it give it a little pop to it, we're just gonna go ahead and apply the Lifter Gloss, which is a Maybelline New York, and this is in the shade 008, which is stone. I'm gonna swipe right on the cross. And y'all, that is everything that consisted of my makeup look. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up everything in this video. Before you exit off this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, all my sisters, don't forget, before you click off this video, make sure you give your girl a comment. 1 through 10, how girl makeup look? Because I think I look. <laughs> I think I look very good. I think I did very good. And I think all the makeup products came out very successful. Like I said in the beginning, I will drop all the makeup products that I use. And I will drop all of that down below. For my beautiful ladies, Ulta will be your best friend, honey. So a few things is from MAC. So you don't really have to travel for it between makeup stores to go get everything. But majority of my products is from Ulta, y'all. So make sure you go check Ulta. I'll get all the products. This video is not sponsored. But I do want to help my ladies out. So make sure you go check those two stores out. Without further ado, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, one through 10, how your girl makeup look. Also, your girl is trying to get to a goal of 100 subscribers, so make sure you show support, show love, and help a sister out. Also, without further ado, make sure you also follow my social media accounts. My Instagram page is underscore Lissam. My Facebook is Sam Chambers. Twitter is BadBitSam. And TikTok is also BadBitSam. All my social media accounts will be linked down below for you guys. I guess it's sad to say. I will see you guys in the next video. You can't go back on you. Ain't even wanna boo, but this is what the karma do. It's hard to be apart from you, cause ooh, I love it when I get so high and drop that ass so low.